Hello folks and welcome once again to the Movie Mad channel, it's James here. So today we're going to talk about pickups. And not just about pickups, about how I got these pickups. Because as you know, cost of living crisis is out there. And every single person is struggling, I think. And you've got to pay for your essentials first. So, I showed you my indicator uh, stuff I got yesterday and I told you what I was going to go and do with it. So I'll just explain exactly what I've done. So I spent £58.98 on the indicator sale but I deliberately bought some of it to trade in. So the Adventure Series, which you've probably seen in the indicator video, I took that straight away to CEX, paid £18 for it and got a £30 voucher. One of the, I ordered two of this one, Bloody New Year, and I took that straight in and traded it in for £10. So that gave me £40. And I'd reordered the three Randall Scott movies. So, I, so to, to avoid the price drop, and I took those three straight to CEX last week. So all in all, I ended up with £66 of vouchers. So I spent £58 on the indicator sale. So that's that's more than enough for a month for, for my budget. And £40 of that was from birthday. And £18 of that was more money. So in, in terms of new movies, new movies this month, I have spent a net... Of 18, 18 pounds, but I have got some charity shop pickups which I spent about 10 pounds on, so I spent 28 pounds this month on movies, which you know I think isn't a massive amount and it's an, and it's not an unreasonable amount to spend on your hobby. But uh, if you are struggling for essentials and things like that, that could be considered a waste. But you've got to have something to look forward to, you've got to do spend a little bit of money on things that you want. So that's what I've done. So I ended up with a £66 voucher. And I took that £66 voucher and I went to my CEX and they just happened to have, it looked like somebody traded in their entire collection. And there was a lot of movies that are gone out of print or reasonably difficult to get. So I picked up a few and I spent, I think I spent... £52 of my £66 voucher. So I will show you I will show you what I got. So let's start off with I've got them here, but let's start off with Dante's Peak. Now I have this in the German releases, but it's always better to put the menu on and get it in English first time. Not that I mind changing it, but Always better to have the, the region one for your country. So I've got so for six pound I thought that was a that was a, that was worth that was worth doing. So I picked that one up. Now if you have a little look, the reason I know somebody's eat, traded in the entire collection is because each one of these Blu-rays has got a little number at the top. So clearly whoever done this, they've done this from the they've done this from the own collection so every single one of them I've purchased that must have been from this person's collection so Dante's Peak good volcano movie good as volcano less action more still action but more storyline I think but with Linda Hamilton and Pierce Morrison so I picked that one up so that was good and that will go into the collection as I say I do have the German release but it is always nice to have the one in your in your language straight away. So there we go. Oh, let's push this book back a second. There we go. Next, I picked up another one I do have on my import releases, and again, for four pound, I thought get the British version, and that's Sahara. Now, I could have waited for these, and the, and they would have eventually came into CEX online or eBay. But with CEX, you end up paying postage, and that adds a couple of pound on. So while the while they're in my store, I try and strike while the iron's hot, shall we say, 
and take it. So I got Sahara for four pounds, and that was a pretty good, pretty good deal. So I picked that one up, and that's with Matthew McConaughey. And I recognise the other two, but I can't remember them. Is that no Salma Hayek? Might be Salma Hayek, yeah. So I picked that one up too. So those two, I think, are out of print in the UK, so you can only really get them second hand. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. I think every single one of them I've got here is out of print in the UK. Every single one in this guy's collection was out of print. I think. So we'll soon see. And clearly, the man who, who or or woman potentially, who had this collection was a Jim Carrey fan because I picked up the number twenty three. Always wanted that on Blu Ray. Always thought it was a great film. And for four pound, I took that as well. So number twenty three with Jim Carrey. Oh, hmm. So a receipt in here. I don't think it's mine. Let's see. Oh, it is Marisi, it's okay, it's fine. So, picked up number 23, and again, as you can see, it's got a number in the top corner. Next movie I really enjoy, and I think I've only seen it on streaming. Again, I think I don't think I own the DVD of this one, or the Blu-ray, because it's, it, I think it's, again, it's out of print. But that is The Truman Show with Jim Carrey. <laughs> There's a theme here, by the way. You'll probably see it in a minute. So Jim Carrey and The Truman in the, in the Truman Show. For £8, again, I thought that was a good deal. Especially as I think this one is more difficult difficult to get. So, I don't know if you've seen The Truman Show, but I think it's, I think it's quite funny. Ed Harris and uh, Truman trapped on a, in a TV show. <coughs> Coughing away, excuse me. So that's four we pick up. So for my fifty-two pound, I didn't, you know, go buy hundreds of movies at low prices this time. I took the opportunity to get these ones because I think it would be rare that you get them, and I end up having to pay two pound postage for CEX or postage for eBay. So I thought I may as well take that time. So this one was the most expensive one I bought. And it's The Core with Aaron Eckhart and Silvery Swank. And I have watched this one. It is on Netflix right now. But it wasn't on Netflix for a long, long time. It's just came on. And it's been on my wish list for ages. And I say, the UK version is definitely out of print. But the... You can get a German release, but it was about £12, 12 pound as well. So, you know, if you're going to spend the £12 pound in CX vouchers, you may as well get the British one. So I did. So I don't, the story of this one is basically, they have stopped spinning and they've got to fix it. How did they get there? Disaster movie. End of the world movie. Countdown to extinction begins. And I think it's really, really good, this one. A lot of people... Didn't like it, but I did. And I'm not gonna, I'm, you know, people like different things. I, d I like this movie. I think it's rewatchable. I've watched it twice since it's been on Netflix, and guaranteed at some point it's going to drop off there, and it's not going to be available anymore. And when you try and go and buy the Blu-ray, you know, really get it. So I think it was worth the investment. When I say investment. I'm never going to sell these. It's just you know investment in my collection, so I can watch it when I want. Is what I mean. So, the next one I picked up, again, I've watched this maybe five or six times and I think it's funny. And I've got, I've got the DVD and I, I was going to say, I borrowed this DVD from somebody and I never gave it back. Oops. And I've still got the DVD. And I don't know why I never gave it back. I'm one of the people. I'm one of the people. People have done that to me, but I, I, sh I, wouldn't, I normally wouldn't do that. I don't know why I didn't give this one back. But it is 
Bruce Almighty. And again, I think this one's pretty hard to get because I've never seen it on, uh, on the shelf before, and I've never, I've never seen it out in the wild when I would have bought it. So Jim Carrey essentially gets the powers of God. Imagine what he's going to do with it. <laughs> oh, I think it's a, and uh, Morgan Freeman plays God, so it's a really, really good one. So again, I thought that was that was good, and you know what? A lot, all of these cases and everything like that are in good condition. So whoever had them has kept them, kept them really nice. So again, and then CEX can ruin it with these stickers. Let's see if it's the easy stickers to come off. Is it? Let's try. Coming off okay. Slowly, slowly. Slowly, slowly. Yeah, this doesn't hasn't been on there long, so that's that's coming off not too bad. Not too bad. Let's turn it up. Yay! That's come off pretty good. A little bit tiny bit there's a do, but I can fix that I may as well take off the other one as well. So Picked up one, two, three, four, five, six movies, and that's a total of forty-two pounds. So picked up one more. Friends, I say that, and then this sticker doesn't come off properly. It ruins the case. This poor man, this poor guy's collection, who's kept it so good for so long, and CX don't ruin it with these stickers. Look at that. <coughs> I'll deal with that in a wee while. So, the next one I picked up again, Jim Carrey, and it's Liar Liar. <coughs> I what I'm coughing for. Right, so I picked up Liar Liar for £10. Again, I think this one's hard to get. So, There's a bit, there's a bit in the in the in the, in the courtroom where they can't tell lies, and they they, they ask, they ask if they need to go. They ask if the the judge. He says, do you ask the judge to go to the toilet? He goes, do you need to go? And he says, not really. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Liar, liar. These are some classic Jim Carrey. Where where are these from? Two thousand three for Bruce Almighty. Liar Liar is 1997, Boomin Show is 1998, 2007 for that one, and there we go. <coughs> so, I picked up all of these, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven movies. All quite hard to get, I think. And the indicator ones, the ones that I showed you last week, another seven movies, so 14 movies for my budget of £58. And I've still got £10 of vouchers left, and there is another couple in there that I'm actually probably gonna go back and get today. So I'm gonna do I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna do that. So what do you think? Is this the way to do collecting? When you are on a budget? I think so. So, am I trying to justify myself in spending the £60 initially? Well, £40 it was for presents for my birthday and I was going to spend it on myself. That's what presents are for. And the other £18 could have spent that on some more wisely. I think I've done an alright job. What do you guys think? So, if you do like the video, please give it a thumbs up because it does help the channel get up the banking so so people watch and that's that's good that people watch and it does suggest it to people as well so that's handy and if you would like to subscribe feel free to feel free to do so uh and i'll see that way you get to see me next time thanks guys bye oh i'm knocking the chair